And we're live. Hi, everyone. I am Nick, and welcome to Full of Brick with Nick and Harold. How, however, Harold's not here with us today, unfortunately. Uh oh, happened Hi, again. I am Nick. Okay. I always try to mute it, but then I think I'm just muting the, I'm muting the ringer and not the actual thing. But it's good now. So I got a new internet, or well, a new modem, and. Oh, Tristan's here. You want to say hi to everyone? How come, the, how come the lights are turning in and out? Harold's not here, so... Our little Buskis is here. Nobody. Yeah, it's just it's just uh, the quiet stream. So these guys have play day today. You're on the plum team. Mm -hmm. And Tristan is organizing bowling. Mm -hmm. So we'll see... We'll see how that goes today. And oh, what I was saying was, so Harold is MIA today and also Bruce. So they're gonna probably be maybe next week, but today I'm just gonna solo it. And um, I have some things to build that I can build and show you guys. Cause I've been meaning to open up some of the minifigures. But what I was working on last week, out, 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 when I was working on last week was this, the, Statue of Liberty. And so this is where it's going to go. We're going to put it beside Big Ben and the big Apollo Saturn V. But quick review of this architecture set. So we have the actual Statue of Liberty here. And it has nice slopes, as you can see, all the way around. You can see the leg kind of sticking out there. Here's the back. So this is her dress. And then she's actually even holding the book. So pretty cool. We have the, the flame. And the flame is the hairpiece. It's a pearl gold hairpiece. And what else? So this is the scale, and you can see the little door there. So that's how big the people are supposed to be. So maybe it's nano size. We have, they're not shields. They're just the these pieces all the way around. And just a lot of nice detail in this architecture set. We have some sand green handcuffs over here. Can you guys hear upstairs all the singing? And then even Lady Liberty's crown. So everything is captured nicely in this architecture set. So put this back. And so what I wanted to build today were a bunch of these Lego dimension sets that have been just in my basement for the longest time, but I haven't gotten around to ever building it. However, do I need the instructions? I wonder if the instructions are still online on the Lego lego.com. I have a feeling they're not. So I might just be opening it up and just keeping the minifigure. So let's see here. Lego.com. I think I remember how to do this. I don't even know if Dimensions is still in Lego. I should have started building this a while ago because that's going to be an issue if I can't even build the build. Okay, so Lego.com and products, I think. We go to products. And okay, so here are all the themes. So we need to go to dimensions, if it's even here still. I have a feeling dimensions is not here, but I'm hoping it is. Oh, dimensions, OK. So dimensions. And OK, it's working. So the brick, I think it's the brick. Okay, yeah. 
So now, story packs. This is a level pack. So this is what I'm looking at right here. So I have to find Goonies. Goonies level pack. Team pack. Oh, okay, maybe see all. See all. And where's the Goonies? Goonies, Goonies. Oh, it's not here. Hmm. Maybe these are only the most, it's not the most recent because the midway is old. Hmm. Level pack. Team pack. Fun pack. What if I put in the code, search the code? Because maybe they don't even have, or I, maybe I'll just Google search Lego and I'll put in the code instructions. Let's try that. Because I have a feeling it's outdated. Lego dimensions. Seven one two six seven instructions. All right, let's see if this works. Okay, it does work, I think. All right, there we go. So let's open this up. So Goonies is one of my favorite movies as a kid. So I was excited when I heard that they were kind of come out with Goonies. I remember that Lego Ideas had a Goonies. Lego Ideas had a Goonies um, entry. I think it was the ship. And it had all the Goonies characters. So this is a cool torso. You got the Superman torso for Sloth. So let's quickly make Sloth here. With the, yeah, the gray pants, the Sloth face. Okay, let's open up this one. And the sloth head. There we go. So here, sloth is a very cool minifigure. Comes with the extra accessory for the head. So keep that. So which build do I want? Probably the pirate ship. So you get to do the pirate ship. Whoop. The pirate ship here and the piano. And then there's some weird other builds, but we'll just do the pirate ship and the piano. So when I'd really pirate ship, open. Download PDF. All right. Okay, so first we need the snot piece and one by four tan. I wonder if I can zoom in and you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, we put the stud next underneath. Uh. There we go. And then two by four piece. 
Hey, London Bricks. You said, hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. I got the joke. It's just me, no Harold today. Harold said the, there's an emergency at work, so he has to be at work bright and early um, Japan time. Hey, Flash Pants, Baby Ruth. True. Flash Pants, I saw your entry. I was just checking on Brick, the BrickTuber's website yesterday, and I saw the cool clubhouse you made. Very nice. Um, and congrats on winning first place. What did you get for first place? I don't know if I read that. Okay, these L pieces. It's another L piece. So it's good to finally build something small after building the Porsche and the Statue of Liberty, which had more than more than how many pieces is this? Oh, more than 118 pieces. 118. Okay, and now we have to make two of the sides. So we need more snot headlight pieces. One and two, and then another headlight piece. One, one and two. Flash Pants says, thanks, dude. I won $160. I bought the Parisian restaurant. That's crazy. 160 bucks. London Brick says, any new sets this week, BA? Did you get any of the solo sets? I didn't get any new sets this week. However, Star Wars was on sale at Toys R Us, 20% off. But I didn't get any of the new solo sets. I don't know what I want to get from the solo series. Nothing really piqued my interest. Maybe after I watch the movie, I'll, I'll think of something that I want to get. But I'm kind of still wanting to get that Bugatti in July. So I'm not, not going to spend so much right now because, yeah, the Bugatti's a bit pricey. And then you get the cool tote that Harold loves. Uh, London Brick says that he recommends the Solo Speeder and Yoda's Hut. Oh, I do have Yoda's Hut. I bought that a while ago. I didn't... I thought Yoda's Hut... Oh, yeah, I guess Yoda's Hut would kind of still be... Because it might have the Solo, Han Solo insignia on the top. But I know there's the Millennium Falcon that's blue, which... Eh, I already have two Millennium Falcons. Not the big, super big one, but. And then I guess the speeders, there's a bunch of those speeders. So here's the, the pirate ship is looking so far. It doesn't look like a pirate ship yet, but it's coming along. Then we got jumper piece, stud. Okay, now we're going to make the mast. Here and here. That goes there. And then the front. Uh, London Brick says, no problem, Flash. Been a while. Looks like you've been buying a lot on there. Addiction is strong. I think they're talking about Flash buying from London store. London Bricks' Bricklink store. Check it out. I haven't been on Bricklink in a long time. Maybe that's a good thing. Bad thing for sellers. Good thing for... Budget and starting to take form. Another jumper piece.
So this is the third episode of the rebranded Full of Brick, which today seems just like a hanging out with BA episode because we're just hanging out. But if you missed last week's episode, we had um, Down Under Bricks on, and he was showing us some of his vintage Star Wars, some of his Transformers. Uh, and in the beginning of the stream, we also did a little rewind flashback to old sick pics. Someone's coming down. Hi, it's just me. Why? Harold has to work. So it's just me. It's me in the chat. Me and London Bricks and Flash Pants. Hi, London Bricks. How come I'm not there? What's that? That's the, the chat. It's the lady. But how come we're... Oh, there that's you are. creepy. There you are. Okay, we're going to go. Bye. Can I get up? Uh, sure. Why? What are you going to get it for? I'm saving it for the Bugatti. Oh. Okay. So at least it's, it's some... Gosh stuff off but i can just go full price then never mind no take as much 20s as you want no how much is the bugatti it's more One expensive million. than that it's like 50 dollars more than the porsche 499 no it's like 350 three i think that was three and that oh. was 350. Okay. Uh, let's see what the chat says so london says i'm going to be closing it down soon for a few months his bricklink store Need a break and trying to sell my house and move to a bigger place. Ooh. And Flashpan says, damn, I missed last week. I'll have to go watch it later. And Lennon says, ooh, the Bugatti, that's a beast. Yes. The Bugatti, I saw the picture of the Bugatti when it first they first released it. And I liked it. I liked the color. The shape looked cool. And then I decided maybe I should get the Porsche now because I've always been on the fence about getting the Porsche. But then I didn't want the Porsche to all of a sudden sell out because people wanted the Bugatti in their collection and to be a completist, get the Porsche first. And since the Porsche came out two years ago, I didn't want it to all of a sudden disappear from the shelves and I couldn't even get it. So I just pulled the trigger on the Porsche, even though it's a Technic set and I don't usually build the Technic sets. And I think I did an okay job. I guess if you hadn't seen last week's, this is a quick look at how the Porsche looks like. So it's huge, it's big, and it's heavy. So I just have the Porsche on the ground here beside my the 24-hour racer and uh, that big crane that Maria's cousin got for Tristan. Yeah, I remember when we were when Maria's cousin from Australia was here, he got Tristan the the crane, the MK something crane, and I was helping him build it. And I just remembered thinking that Technic seems so difficult because he was like, pass me the blah 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 and pass me the blah blah blah. And I was just like, I don't even know what you're talking about. But when I was building the Porsche, it was okay. It wasn't hard. I didn't make any mistakes. However, I did watch a review of the Bugatti. I think it was on Alex Nunez's channel. And he said it was one of the hardest builds that he's done. So maybe the Bugatti might, might be more difficult. So this is how the pirate ship is looking so far. We have the sails and they're using teeth for the sails. Uh, what else? London says, Oh, I just I read that already. And Flash Pants says, good luck with the move. Hope it all goes well. Talking to London for his move. I wouldn't know how to move all this Lego if we were to move into a different house. That's I don't even want to think about that. Too much. But Harold did it. He was able to pack up all his Lego. And Bricks for Chris did a move, I remember. I think Julian might be moving, I heard. I can't remember. Okay, here are more sales. Okay. 
I wonder how many of these Lego dimension sets I can build in, let's say, an hour. Because trying to keep these full of brick episodes compact, even though last week's went for two hours, but the original full of brick series was about an hour, not the eight hour marathons. Because who has time to watch eight hours these days? I don't know, maybe some people if they're parting out Lego sets. So how do I sound on here? Am I choppy at all, Mr. Robotic? You can uh, flash pants in London. You can let me know in the chat how I sound. Am I robotic at all? Because Maria did get a new modem for our internet. And it's supposed to be faster, but I can't tell right now. London says it's, it sounds fine. That's good. Uh, London says, yep, not going to be too bad moving the store as it's already in boxes. Personal collection, on the other hand, is going to be a headache. And he says, no Transformers yet. No Mr. Roboto. OK, so these are the things here. We got some nice sails. We got cannons. It's crooked. Cannons. And we got a drawbridge. So that's pretty cool. Okay, more masts going on. And so they use the telescope feature. Oh. And that's it. And then just the, ooh, they're gold. This is the first time I made one of the newer Lego dimensions with the new gold before it used to be before it used to be um, that blue trans blue trans light blue uh, three oh it's complicated it's not just sticking it on the the platform. Okay, there we go. And then, so here is the pirate ship. Oops. Oh, we got some extra pieces. Oh, that's probably for the piano. Okay, so now let's get the piano instructions. Uh, skeleton jukebox or skeleturkey. What is this one called? Skeleton organ. Skeleton organ. Download. OK, let's do the skeleton organ next. Um, 10, 2 by 4. This is probably the steps for the feet, the pedals. And another two by four. Oh, let's put him on his Goonies platform. Goonies, it's not focused. Um, underside. And one by twos. Okay, now we're gonna put the the keys, which are just grills, tan grills, and we got more steps. And okay, and then more keys. Very cool, this micro build of a piano. It's 
So London Brick says he's moving hopefully to Malden, Haybridge area. Uh, Flash Pants in London know these areas. Um, have I been watching the Football World Cup? I have just been watching some of the highlights. I haven't really watched any of the games yet. I've been watching as people around the around town have been celebrating. They've been driving around their Croatian cars and Team Poland and Team uh, Portugal. And I remember on Saturday, I was in one of the just one of the areas and all I heard was honk, 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 honk. And then people were wearing their Croatian checkered uh, white and red shirts celebrating in the streets that they won for Croatia. But I've heard there's some, there's been a bunch of big upsets. Germany lost, or did they tie? Can't remember now. Did Germany lose or tie? And um, Brazil lost or tied? And even some of the big uh, like countries, like um, Italy's not even there, and uh, the U.S. I'm not sure how much U.S. Flash Pants says, uh, I'm watching the game at the moment, Australia versus Denmark. And London says, yes, Germans lost. Weird. I guess they're not going to make another CMF series for Germany. Oh, wrong piece. And then the skeleton arms come out sideways. One and two. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Ten fire hose. I don't think I have this color yet. Fire hose in ten, or the nozzle. Um, London says yes. Germans lost, and London says bigger teams have been poor, to be honest. But probably all will qualify for the next round, and Australia. Australia were so unlucky against France. I guess France won. I saw Portugal, Ronaldo had a hat trick the first game, which is cool. He's old now, isn't he? And uh, I, score, I think he scored a goal in the second game. They won like one nothing. So I'm up to date with everything. I'm curious about the NBA draft today. I don't know any of the players going to be drafted, but I'm wondering whether any big signings will happen if LeBron will go to the Lakers, make a super team with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Uh, Flash pants. Oh, London says, bloody hate Portugal, but Ronaldo is pure class. Flash pants says, true, dude. Uh, they've all made us look good. Yeah, and I think they, um, Argentina, was it Messi? I heard Messi missed a penalty kick. I think I heard that. So there's been some interesting news so far. I haven't watched an actual game yet, though. Okay, so this I just made. I think it's going to be, oh, yeah, these are like, candlesticks but there's no fire there should be flames coming out maybe i can add that later on okay uh studs here nozzle and this Maybe after I build this, before I build the next one, we'll do some some news that you can use because that was also a feature from the old full of brick. Because there are some things that that I read, and then we could probably read it again next week. 
see what Harold and the bunch think about it. Okay, and then the skeleton is the last piece. So make skeleton man. First order Lego. Hello there, first order Lego. First order Lego, I guess you like Star Wars, but I'm making Goonies right now. Goonies Lego Dimension. Uh, London says, yeah, we are, yeah, but we aren't really expecting anything much from England. First time I've watched them in three years as I got so fed up with it all. Nothing much has changed though. Do they still have um, that guy, Rooney? Is Rooney still a player? So I don't know why they made the skeleton's arms look bendy, but that's how the instructions are to make it look bendy. Oh, I put this backwards. How is this? Oh, okay. I just have to flip everything. Uh, Rooney's not there. I don't really get the NBA NFL drafts and all that. And First Order First Order Lego is watching the game right now. The Aussies are not looking good. I think I put this all upside down. Okay. How are these arms supposed to? Oh, I put the whole thing upside down, silly. Okay, so these things go on the bottom, coming out. And we have to make the candlesticks face upwards. Like so. Oops. Is that right? Yeah. And then the other side. So everything's upside down. Okay, and there we go. So that's better. So now we have our skeleton man with the candles sticking up and it just goes on the gold platform. And we got some extra pieces. Okay, so let me show you which way should the pirate ship be facing? I guess this way. Okay, so first off we have Sloth with his Superman suspenders and shirt. So a very nice minifigure. I like that for the collection. And then we have the pirate ship and we have the piano. So I'm not sure where this is gonna go in my collection. I'll try to figure out a place. Maybe I'll have like a Lego dimension area because usually I put the Lego dimension figures and everything with a theme that I already have, but I don't have any Goonies theme. Okay, what was I going to show? Oh yeah, news that we can use. So, I always go to trusty, trusty Alan Tran, the brick fan. And so I did see something yesterday which was cool. I saw that Lego in Denmark, they're going to have this, um, 
I guess it's called Lego minifigure, minifigure something, minifigure maker. It's basically you can make your custom minifigure torsos at the Lego store. So that was yesterday's. I just have to scroll up. Oh, here it is. So it's called Lego Minifigure Factory. Debuts in Denmark. And so it's in the actual Lego store. And so it looks like that. And they have a printer where the actual Lego minifigures can get printed on. And so people can design their own minifigure. Do you see there? I think they have um, actual prints, or, or you can also bring in a print and just download them in. And so here are some examples of minifigure torsos that they had. So I think that's pretty cool. I wouldn't mind making custom custom torsos. I don't know what I would have though. But I'm sure people can design some very cool torsos for maybe uh, mocks of if they're gonna have like an army of something and but rather than getting it from Eclipse Graphics or minifig fx they can just do their own or like if you just have um giveaways or even maybe like a party or something you can make minifigures other news that you can use i'm not sure if these were even revealed yet but it says more lego star wars um solo a star wars story sets revealed so we got the imperial imperial convex Convex transporter. I wonder if I can pull it up here so I don't have to show you the screen all the time. So let's go brick fan. And Okay, and I guess share screen. Uh, I agree. Okay, so share screen, screen share. Share screen. Uh, here. Okay, so we got, we have more of the Star Wars, the Imperial Convex Transporter, and we got some minifigures. I wonder if I can zoom Control Plus. So who do we have here? We got Chewbacca, we got Han Solo, a couple of Stormtroopers. Han Solo's wearing like a like a robber's mask here. Because I heard it's like a heist. I haven't watched the movie yet. And these uh, Stormtrooper helmets look cool. And we got just a transporter. Oops. Oh, okay. Better resolution. Better resolution pictures. Oops, I don't want to do that. I was just trying to zoom in. So if I bought this, I'd probably just buy it for the Han Solo figure. I don't know if Chewbacca is any different. Um, oh, Flashpan says, place... Place them in the Silent Mary. Yeah, I could put the Goonies around the Silent Mary. That's a good idea. And he said that would be cool to be able to print off in the store. 
And Flashpants says, you know, someone's going to make a whole train out of that set. Harold will go crazy. That's for sure. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Buying multiples of this set just to make the train. True. Um, what's this? Space Saga. Here's a pod. I guess this is a different set. So I love the torso. It's pretty cool. We got a vest there, the belt for the young Han Solo. Chewbacca, not sure if that's any different. And these are the, the other pictures I was showing you. Oh, cool. So Nightmare Before Elm Street. I'm, into, I'm digging the brickheads. I've been, I've been collecting the brickheads so far. So we got Jack. And we have, I don't even remember her name. I wonder if it says here. Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't even get that picture. Hold on. Let's go here. So before going to the brick cads, there's some other pictures here. So you can see how the transporter goes upwards. Oh, those are Comic Con exclusives. Okay, never mind. The Jack is Comic Con exclusive. It's nice. And then we have the Imperial AT Holler. Many figures are Kira, Val, Dryden Gangster, Rio Durant. I don't know who those people are, but these are the people. So we got the nice afro there and these monkey looking guys from planet of the apes these would be good faces for planet of the apes and this little guy i wonder if i press this yeah so we zoomed in oh it kind of looks like an imperial shuttle Let me zoom in some more. Control plus. Yeah, these are good monkey faces. Um, Flashpan says, no, the ham and chewy in the Falcon cockpit are the Comic-Con exclusives. Ah, some more Comic-Con exclusives. Not for everyone. OK. Let's go back. Um, okay, so this is what we saw here, where the wings go upwards. Oh, okay, it can pick up a crate. Interesting. Okay, so the San Diego Comic-Con 2018 Millennium Falcon cockpit revealed. Oh, okay, that's what you're talking about. Two hundred and three pieces will retail for forty dollars. Hmm. Just the cockpit. And I guess the torso is exclusive. But I don't know if is Chewy exclusive? Okay, so here we have Lego DC Kingdom Come, San Diego Comic-Con 2018 set. So these mini figures, are they new? I don't even know. This looks like George Lucas. Uh, let's see here. Still a couple of weeks away. Reveals Lego, okay. New Kingdom Come Lego set. Oh, okay. Four series Kingdom Come from 1996. Okay. But it looks like the Emerald City. I don't know why it's the Emerald City behind them. Is that supposed to be Krypton? Uh, the image features the iconic cover in the way. Oh, it's a Green Lantern. 
so we got the Green Lantern, we got the Spectre, Wonder Woman, Superman, Norman McKay. So that's not George Lucas, it's Norman McKay. Batman and Wallace West Flash. Looks kind of cheapo with the hair headpiece there. No confirmation that this is something that will be sold at San Diego Comic Con. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So this is the Denmark thing I was talking about. It debuted in Copenhagen Lego Bra Lego brand store earlier today. Customizing their minifigures. It costs thirty DKK, which is about five dollars. That's pretty good. It's five dollars for a minifigure, custom minifigure torso. And the uh, invention is by this designer. And 18 months for the Lego minifigure factory to come to fruition. Currently doing test runs for two days in Denmark. So hopefully it does come to the US in Canada. So we see here, this is how the Lego store looks in Denmark. Mini minifigure factory. Hey, Lori the Gamer. I'm just showing off uh, news that you can use from the Brick Fan, Alan the Brick Fan. So, Minifigure Factory has some pre made designs. Okay. Yeah, I mentioned that before. So, there's this computer here. You can pick different designs, but you can also make your own design and upload it. That they're saying. Uh, we don't know yet if it's going to be launched globally, but hopefully it will. Uh, what is this? You know that the uh, Lego Mosaic Maker finally made it to the United States, so it's quite a while before we may see the minifigure factory over here. Okay. All right. Uh, more news that you can use. Lego Wizarding World, Harry Potter, Hogwarts Castle, rumored to be micro scale. What? So it's not going to be big. Is this supposed to be micro scale? Interesting. Oh, Ozzy's just scored. Um, the foot, the baseball game. And he says, "Wonder if Dub's watching the footy." I think uh, Bruce said that he had to go to bed early. He's zonked. So way back in October last year, talked about a direct-to-consumer Lego Wizarding World Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle that was slated to come out later this year. Many speculated that it would be UCS style, UCS scale, but there is now rumors that it may not. Just too good, and another close course is now close source is now saying that Hogwarts might be micro scale, uh, similar to the size of Lego Marvel Superhero Shield Helicarrier. Oh, but it's micro scale, but it's still huge. Well, Helicarrier was huge. Obviously, this is not what fans were imagining, but we'll just have to wait and see and make a judgment when it's announced. I don't mind a micro scale Hogwarts castle just because for me, I don't have a lot of room. Um, keep in mind that we've already gotten the or are getting the Hogwarts Great Hall shown above. So this is the Great Hall, which is reported to come out a few short weeks. Okay. All right. Uh, Lego Wizarding, Wizarding Harry Potter sets reported to be released in July. Oh yeah, so I read earlier they were saying <clears throat> they were saying that it might be in August, but now they're pushing it up. So this is Hogwarts Whomping Willow. Uh, Lori says, "Have you heard about what happened to the Brick Show?" Yeah, I read that. Um, I saw it on Instagram where. If you go to their website, it says that their channel has been taken down for copyright infringement or something. Because I guess they were using pictures that were um, watermarked or something. I don't know. Uh, so what, what do we have here? Heard about the few sources, including Eurobricks, that they might be available a month early in July. So that's exciting. I'll probably probably be getting the Harry Potter sets, even for some of the minifigures I don't have yet, like this guy. The, I forget his name, the, the caretaker. And then we have some nice torsos here, some new torsos. And 
I have a Harry Potter section in my Lego room. This tree's pretty cool though. Look at this whopping willow. And maybe the they'll be continued. Uh, Flashpan says yes. I heard the channel got removed due to strikes. Yes. Um, okay. Last. This is the last week, or as of June seventeenth. Today is June twenty first. So the last week of the creative storybook promotion. So I was able to get two of these. I bought one of them with um, Statue of Liberty, which I showed earlier. And I bought the second one with the Batmo the super duper ultra Batmobile. So this is a value of $20, which it's a good fair price. But you have to spend $99 to get it. I like it though. It just doesn't make total sense. Because we have a boy with a pretzel here. We have a guy from like 1930s wearing a top hat. And we have a swan. So I don't know which story book this is. The little swan, maybe. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, this is a rem reminder that the last week to get orders from Lego Shop at Home. Okay, so for those of you who want it, this is the last week. Okay, go to page two. Uh, we got Jurassic World Fallen Night Baby Velociraptor Playpen showing up at Walmart. So is this a poly bag? Yep. Interesting things on this poly bag. Well, the main draw, I guess, is the dinosaur. Uh, Flash Pants says, meh, not interested in the book. What? Yeah, I got the book, but I don't know if I'm going to build it yet because I have nowhere to put it. <laughs> uh, for this poly bag, you get a drumstick, you get... A bone, but the main draw is the Velociraptor, the baby Velociraptor. If you can get a whole bunch of these poly bags, you can have an army of little Velociraptors chasing after mommy Velociraptor. This is 48 pieces and retails for four dollars. Cheapest way to get the baby raptor figure. Well, I wonder if it, it probably comes in one of the sets too. I haven't gotten okay. Oh, okay. So this is what we showed earlier: Lego Brickheads, Jack Skellington, and Sally revealed. So Lego has revealed another 2018 Lego Brickhead set, Jack Skellington and Sally. Two-pack from the Tim Burton Nightmare Before Christmas. The announcement confirms the Walmart posting reported about a month ago. There's no information about the pricing or pieces at this time. You can check. Oh, so maybe this, you can, you can get this. I don't think it is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Uh, Flashpan says, Dino giveaway over here at the moment. Oh, nice. Uh, tour inside inside tour 2018 Ferguson tractor revealed. So this might be the gift. I think this is the gift because every year when you have a tour inside the Lego, the Lego inside tour, you get a, a gift. So the embargo for the Lego inside tour 2018 set revealed has been lifted. And this year's set is the Ferguson tractor. Not sure what a Ferguson tractor is, but. I like the silver look to this tractor. If you're not familiar with the Lego Inside Tour, attendees are given a limited edition set at the end of the event and subject matter is picked. Okay. So, eh, so that's just okay to me. Uh, Flashpan says we have a brown raptor over here in the UK free comic on Comic-Con. Nice, I like that. Oh, this is now on Netflix, the Lego house, home of the brick, now on Netflix. So if you want to watch this, if you go on Lego, Alan the Brick fan, I thought there was a trailer. Or is this a trailer? Oh, it's just a Flickr, Flickr picture. But uh, Lego has released the newest documentary on Netflix with the Lego house, home of the brick. 47 minute show takes you through the journey of how it came from an idea to reality. So if you want to watch that Lego Harry Potter activity book, minifigure revealed. So I guess it's just a regular Harry Potter minifigure from school Hogwarts shirt. 
Last month, I talked about Harry Potter activity book, pre-ordering it. This version has the short legs, and it looks like we'll be able to get the Hogwarts Great Hall set. So this, oh, that is only available in the Hogwarts Great Hall set. So this is the cheapest way to get the, the school uniform version. What's this? Lego tweets about Secret Service Aston Martin set. I don't know what this is. What's Aston Martin? I should know maybe. Oh, James Bond, what? The accounts for Aston Martin and even James Bond have been have replied to tweets and posts the above image. Connecting the dots, Lego is working with Aston Martin and the James Bond franchise to produce a set, possibly the famous Aston Martin DB5. What is that? Aston Martin DB5. I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's the James Bond car. Ooh, so are they going to come out with? That would be cool. I wonder if they can get all the curves in there. Interesting. Aston Martin. So let's look at this picture again. Classified information by June 14, 2018, 007, do not detach. Wow. Uh, Flashpan says Aston Martin is the 007 car. I'd get that. That's cool. I wonder if that's Lego ideas. Lego House documentary coming to... Okay, so this is the trailer. So if you go to the Brick Fan, you can watch the trailer for that. I'm not going to click it. It's going to be long. And maybe we'll do a few more news that we can use. One more, one more page down. Okay. Lego Ideas, SpaceX Falcon. Hmm. I like the Saturn V better. This is just meh to me. It might be more interesting to others. Brickheads. Steven the Creeper. I like how they got the Creeper walking here. We got the Steve. That's cool. Uh, Super Villains video game. We'll probably get this. I don't... I think we we still haven't gotten the, the, the latest one, though. I was waiting for it to go on sale. But in addition, they have also showed off character secret uh, character selected screen, which reveals playable characters including Clayface, Cheetah, Deadshot, Gorilla Grodd, Harley Quinn, Joker, Killer Frost, Lex Luthor, Mercy Graves. I don't know Mercy Graves. Reverse Flash. That's uh, Mason's favorite. Um, Solomon Grundy. He's cool. He should be a big fig. Uh, Flash Pants has Ghostbuster Brickheads coming soon. I think I saw that in the store. It's like a double. Slimer and um, Peter Venkman. That's a lot of characters. Look at, look at that. It's crazy. So many villains. So many potential minifigures that they can come out with. Solomon Grundy, I guess. This is Solomon Grundy. Che is this Cheetah? I see a tail. Uh, there's also the open hub world, which will include Gotham, Metropolis, Arkham, Smallville. Ooh, Smallville. And Apocalypse. I don't know Apocalypse. Minecraft meh. Flashpant says Minecraft meh. <laughs> uh, which one is this? Metropolis? Maybe it's Metropolis. Lastly, the voice cast is said to be the very best voice cast ever to be Lego game. Arthur does mention that Batman is the Batman, Joker is the Joker. Does this mean that Mark Hamill will be voicing Joker again and Kevin Conroy as Batman? Hmm. Interesting. And here is a trailer if you want to check that out. Nine minutes of Joker Harley gameplay. You can check that out on the Brick Fan. Three more Brick Heads revealed. This one's cool. I, sh I should ask Carol about this one next week. The Bubba Fett. That's a cool looking one. 
Boba Fett, Star Wars. Um, Lego has revealed three more brickheads, two packs. You got Luke and Yoda, um, nineteen ninety nine, and single characters nine ninety nine. So Luke and Yoda, we have the old style swoopy hair, and I like Yoda a little mini version of Yoda there, who's shorter. Princess Leia, the hair kind of looks baldish in the front here. But I guess that's how it looks. It's kind of pulled back. And then we got Boba Fett. Sneak peek at rumored Lego Jurassic Park Visitor Center set. What? Um, favorite of all time, Jurassic Park has revealed in theaters earlier today. Lego released an image celebrating the anniversary. So here's the visitor center in the back. That'd be cool. That's probably one of the direct to consumer sets. And this is the monthly recap of stuff that was on the brick fan before. Harry Potter brick hat. I like that. Hogwarts train. And who's this character? Uh, can zoom up. Uh, let me go back. Bricktober, rumored Bricktober sets. Some details on Bricktober 2018. Various themes will be Ninjago, superheroes, and Lego Harry Potter. Oh, these are more recaps. Recap. Toys That Made Us is on Netflix. All right. Let's go back. Uh, stop sharing. Is that is that a thing? Can you guys see me again? Can you guys see me again? Am I back? I think I'm back. Okay, so maybe we'll do one more. Let's do Ghostbusters, because I can put this. I don't have a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man yet. So we'll do one more, and then we'll call it a day. So let's go back to Lego Dimensions. Actually, I'll just do what I did last time, search. So. Lego Dimensions um, 71233 instructions. So put this oh it didn't pop up uh, Lego dimensions let me just put the code seven one two three three. there we go Okay, I don't have to put instructions. It just gives me the instructions. This one will be a faster one because it's small. So what are we gonna build? We have the Terror Dog. We have the Dog Destroyer and the Soaring Terror. So Terror Dog. I think I might build the Terror Dog. But I've been waiting for this Stay Puff Marshmallow minifigure. Which just looks like, without the head, it just looks like a sailor suit. Um, that T-Rex is limited edition, only 500 made. And it says Flash Pants. And he wants the Star Wars briquettes. Oh, the T-Rex from the 
the visitor center. Flashpin says, you're back. Yep, I'm back. When I got the Stay Puffed, I wanted to build a rooftop to go with the Terror Dog. Oh, interesting. Yeah. That's a good idea. Okay, so... Does the head just go on? The head looks like this. It's a big mold. So... There's... Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. And he probably goes on the Ghostbuster. So this is the older one because it's not golden yet. So Tear Dog and Download. So at least the instructions are still on the internet, even though it's not on the website. Okay, so let's start. It's not coming up. I'm just getting a black screen. Oh, step four. It jumped all the way to step four. I can't tell. I think it's a circle piece. Oh, there, it's coming out. Okay. So we get circle piece. Um, Nick put Stay Puff's head on Sloth's torso. Why is that cool? Let's see. Hey, you guys. <laughs> we got to switch out the arms, though. Switch out the arms to make them white. There we go. Nice. Stay Puff Superman. Hey, you guys. And Sloth is now the Sailor, Sailor Sloth. We got Sailor Sloth. And we got... Stay Puff Superman. That's cool. Super Puff. All right, let's put these back. Oops. But that's a cool, oops. This is a cool Superman torso. It's kind of like they have that Batman torso where it's a shirt, like a Batman shirt underneath. Okay, we got Stay Puff here. I mean, uh, Sloth and Stay Puff. The instructions keep going black. Okay, so we got this circle piece and one by two is connected to it. One by two. Two by two. Uh, oh, you can't see. Keep it up there. Still not sure what part of the dog this is, but it's supposed to be a dog. A terror dog. Maybe it's the face. 
two by two. Here it is. Oh, it's legs, I think. So let's go here. Uh, Flashpan says, I did it with the Barakis fig. Ain't gonna. What? Ain't going no goddamn train swap his head with Puff. <laughs> I have Barakis in here. BA. I'll do that on a different. I basically got the ones that I want. The, well, most of it, all of them, anyways. I was going to say I got most of the ones that I wanted the minifigure for, but I want all the minifigures. Some of them I couldn't get because they weren't in the stores anymore, though. So it might have to be a Bricklink order for the minifigures, like the um, Teen Titan and Powerpuff Girl ones. Couldn't find them anymore. I was too late to the party. And studs. Okay. So far, I don't know about this micro terror dog. It's kind of weird looking. Okay, two by three on top. Um, so things I'm watching right now, I'm watching America's Got Talent, which is on episode four right now. I On Netflix, I'm watching The 100, and a new episode just came out yesterday, but I haven't watched it yet. I think it's season five now of The 100. I remember when it first came out, I was like, what? It's kind of weird. Oh, Flashpan says, and Beetlejuice. Yeah, Beetlejuice is in here, too. I want to get Beetlejuice. Uh, what else am I watching on Netflix? I'm watching Suits. I'm trying to... The whole Meghan Markle, uh, Prince Harry thing got me intrigued, so I started watching that. And now I'm on episode... I mean, I'm on season three, maybe? Something like that. Oh, I keep kind of switching from show to show. I saw a few episodes of Toys That Made Us season two. I think the ones that I watched. I watched the Lego one. I watched Transformers. I didn't watch the Star Wars one yet, even though it's the first one. Are you watching Westworld? I don't get it. I used to, I watched season one of Westworld on Secret, Super Secret Squirrel, Super Secret Squirrel. But then now my secret super secret squirrel isn't working. So, and it's only on HBO here, and I don't get HBO. So, is it good? Is Westworld good right now? You put two exclamation marks. So, I'm assuming that it is good. I like season one of Westworld. So, this is how it looks so far like a frog, like a gray frog. Okay, we got one of the hinge joint pieces, not hinge, joint, ball joint. And, oh, see it turn, keeps turning black. It's black again. I don't know what's next. Look, this is what I mean. They just turn black from, from light to black. Maybe I should just look at the picture. Uh, I guess I can make the head. So just from looking at the picture, we got the teeth here. Uh, Flashpan says, yeah, it's mind blowing. And we have it on Sky Atlantic over here. Oh, I don't have Sky Atlantic. Okay, so this looks like we have these pieces next, the um, snot. And then 
a plate and a jumper piece, I think. Because this is going to be the nose. And then we got two eyes, two red eyes. How is this going to attach, though? I'm not sure where this comes. Oh, OK. This comes first. The ball comes first, then it's the jumper pieces. Yeah. And then we got the eyebrows. And the horns. So. Here is the terror's head, and it just attaches on. It looks like a gremlin. Okay, and then now we have another jumper piece, and the curve goes on. Uh, what is Flash Pan says? Yeah, I have that problem on my tablet when I'm trying to build from instructions. If I don't move it for a while, it goes black. Oh, maybe that's why. But I was moving it. I was scrolling. Oh, it's oh, it was back for a second. Maybe if I refresh. Refresh. Oh, there. It's coming back. I might have to pull it up on, oh, here it's back. Okay, so what step are we on? Uh, okay, so the back, 16, I did that. The little end piece. And then the tail. So two curves. And tail goes on. And then the head, which I did already. And then that's it. And then we got the platform and a bunch of extra pieces. And this is the dog tear. Oops. Oh, no. Oh, this goes under. OK. So here we have Caradog in dark bluish gray with the Stay, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. And I'm probably going to have this beside my Ghostbusters. I'll probably put it beside the Ghostbuster, yeah, my micro Ghostbuster stuff. Or even maybe beside the Lego Ideas Ghostbusters. We'll see. OK, so what time is it? 9, 10. What time did we start? We started, yeah, we started before 8, so it's been over an hour. So I think this is about it. It's a solo venture on my part, but I think we did OK. Thank you in the chat for having for London, Flash Pants, Lori the Gamer, and First Order Lego for popping in and saying hi. Tune in next week, same time, Thursdays, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in London, because I know you two are in London right now. It is the evening. Oh, no, it's the afternoon, 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. 1. 1 p.m. Eastern, Eastern, I mean, 1 p.m. London time. And in Japan, we would start at 9 p.m. Japan time. In Australia, I think 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. So here is what we built again today. 
two Lego Dimension sets, the Goonies and Ghostbusters. So until next time, Merry Christmas and bye.